the time traveler. For so it will be convenient to speak of him, was compounding a recondent matter to us. His gray eyes shone and twinkled, and his usual pale face was flushed and animated. The fire burned brightly, and the soft radiance of the incandescent light and the lilies of Siva caught the bulbs that flashed and passed in our glasses. Our shares being his patents embraced and caressed us rather than submitted to be sat upon, and there was the luxurious after-dinner atmosphere, when though the run gracefully free of the travels of precisions. And he put it to us in this way, marking the points with a lean foreign finger, as we sat and lazily admired his earnestness of the new paradox, as we thought of it, and his vindictory. You must follow me carefully. I shall have to convert one or two ideas that are almost universally accepted. The geometry, for instance, they taught you at school is founded on a misconception. Is that not a rather a large thing to expect us to be upon? Says Slippy, an argumentative person with red hair. I do not ask you to accept anything without reasonable grounds for it. You will soon admit as much as I need from you. And you know, of course, that a mathematical line, a line of thickness nil, have no real existence. They taught you that? Neither has the mathematical plane. These things are mere...